Okay, we I'm here uh, in the lab, and we're going to do a quick tutorial on um, mapping a network drive to a shared folder, so that your users on your domain will always have a uh, mapped network drive, like a Z drive or a Y drive or X drive, so that they can have a special storage place. So you can um, special storage place that goes out to all users that you might fill with tools or drivers or utilities or whatever. Right, right, Mark. Okay, I'm here with Mark. He's going to be walking through this with me. Um, say hi, Mark. Hello. All right. So uh, anyway, what we did was we have this um, folder on the desktop here called Lab Share, and that is going to be our shared folder. We've already shared it because we set up file services and we set it up as a share. So to show you that, what we do is we open up our roles here. Right there's file services, share and storage management right so we'll click there and then when we click on share and storage management we can see all our shares right I'll turn that off and there's our shares and there you can see it's right there lab share so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on lab share and right in this window you can see the path to the shared folder so I'll highlight this shared folder and do control C to copy because I'm gonna need it in a minute alright did you catch that mark I did. okay then I'm gonna click OK all right, so we got that. There's our shared folder. Now, what we need to do is we need to set up um, a group policy, group policy preference to map a network drive to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Start, Administrative Tools, and I'm going to go to Group Policy Management. Right? There's our Group Policy Management, and we'll just do this right in the default domain policy. Right? What do you think about that? Because that way it affects maybe the whole domain, and so that everybody on our domain, on our dance courses, local lab domain, whatever, they all have access to this network share. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll right click on that and go edit. Booyah. All right, so we got a group policy, and there we are. All right, we're going to map this network drive. To do it, we're going to go under user configuration under preferences so this will be a group policy preference that we're gonna set then we'll go under uh, Windows settings and you can see right there it says drive maps right so drive maps and what we'll do is we'll just right click on that and hit new map drive alright new map drive we're going to have to fill in some stuff here one we're going to create the map drive second we're gonna paste in the um, the path to the drive so that we copied and pasted that. Remember that one? I do remember. Okay. And we're going to label it just as, let's say, lab share. And then reconnect. Will Every time the users reconnect, it will try to establish the um, map to network drive every time our users reconnect. And now we can pick a drive letter for our drive. So we can say, we'll call this the let's say V drive alright so this will be the V drive and then we can set up some connection things here some uh, uh, connect as a certain type of user we could set up that but we're just gonna skip that notice it says optional then hide or show this drive we'll click show this drive and then we'll click OK alright and it shows now that we have a mapped network drive now another thing we want to do is probably force this policy out right how do we do that mark Okay. What is it? Is it GP update? I believe you could do GP update. All right. Let's see here. GP. I think it's an update. And then forward space forward slash force. And then that will update the policy and push that out to the users. And now what we can do is we can. Um, there we go. Completed successfully. We got to jump over to one of our clients to see if this worked. All right, we moved over to a client on the network, and now we're on the network, and we're going to look to see if our changes got pushed out. You can see here that this is a student, and we want to just make sure that what domain we're on here. So I'll right-click, go to Properties, just to show you that we're on the domain, right? And we'll say Advanced System Settings, or oh, there it is, DanceCourses.local. You can see it right down there from the system um, property window or the system window so we're on the domain we're in a client and what we want to see is if did did that map network drive 
that we set up with a shared folder did it get mapped to the client so we'll go over here to computer and there it is you can see there's the V drive right there lab share and so it worked we set up a shared folder and then we mapped the network drive on our Windows Server 2008 and now it's pushed out to all the clients all right did you did you see that mark I did how about you Wade